All right. So this right here is Google Stitch. And this is one of many free AI tools that Google has under their Google Labs experiment program. So if you head over to labs.google, you'll be able to find well over 30 plus free AI tools that you can instantly start using for free without paying anything. And Stitch is one such tool that you can use completely for free without any limits. And basically Stitch is a AI powered designing tool that allows you to give simple text prompt and turn this into a high quality web and mobile app UI. So the idea here is simple. You can straight up head to stitch.withgoogle.com, sign in with your Google account. And once you're logged in, this is going to be the kind of interface that you will see. And now to create a web app or let's say a mobile app UI, all you have to do is to describe your design idea in here, hit enter, and the AI within Stitch will go ahead and create the design for you. And once the design is created, you can either export it to Figma, HTML, or now with the newest update, you can even export it to Jules. So I had already created a video explaining all the features about Google Stitch earlier. And if you want to check that out, you can just go ahead and click the link in the description below. But recently, Stitch got some amazing new updates that makes it even better. And today in this video, we are going to explore the updated version of Stitch and what it has to offer. And also, I'll show you the overall updated flow of creating a web and mobile app design right within Stitch AI. So to access Stitch, all you have to do is to click the link in the description below or head over to stitch.withgoogle.com and you can go ahead and sign in using your existing Google account. And once you're logged in, this is going to be the kind of interface that you will see. And towards the top, as you can see, Stitch allows you to create both web and mobile app UIs right here. So you can toggle between app mode and web mode in here. And right now we also have an experimental mode. So if you want to, you can choose the standard mode or experimental mode. But in standard mode, it says design fast with Google Gemini 2.5 flash AI model. But if you use the experimental mode, you can create high quality designs in HTML with Gemini 2.5 Pro. And you can even attach images for reference. And again, the best option would be to select this particular mode that says experimental mode. And now if you want to create a UI for a mobile app, you can select the app option. Or if you want to create a UI for a web app, you can select the web option. So first of all, I'll begin with the app option and then we will explore web. And now all I have to do is to give a prompt something like this. And it says design a sleek mobile app UI for a fitness tracker that shows daily activity, step count, calories burned and workout progress. Include a dashboard screen, workout details screen and a profile page. And the style should be modern, clean and slightly futuristic. So this writer is the initial prompt I'll begin with. And in your case, all you have to do is to give a prompt explaining the kind of app idea that you have and also the design. And again, I'll click on the send button right here. And before that, if you want to attach any images for reference, you can click on this plus button right here and you can add sketch mockup or any visual inspiration for that matter. Now I'll click on the send button right here. So there you go. It says to design a comprehensive fitness tracking app, I can create the following screens for you. So here we have the dashboard screen, workout detail screen and profile page. And this is exactly the screens that I asked in the first place in the first prompt that I give. And okay, all of that looks good. And again, if you want to edit or let's say modify it, you can go ahead and give further prompts. But for the time being, it all looks good. So I'll go ahead and click on this particular button that says, yes, create all of them. And now Stitch will get to work. All right, so there you go. As you can see, three screens are ready and we asked the AI to create three screens that is dashboard, workout detail and user profile screens for a fitness tracker app. And this right here is the screens that the AI has designed. And to be honest, it actually looks good, right? Okay, here we have all these names, images, map interface, charts, cards, options. Okay, all of that looks good. And now this is where things get interesting. So we just gave, went ahead and gave a prompt and here we have the output, right? But the real thing here is that you now can further go ahead and make changes to the design however you want to. And one of my favorite features of the newest version of Stitch has to be the ability to annotate and edit anything within this particular page. For example, if you hover over any of these screens, towards the top, you will find a couple of options. So first of all, we have annotate to edit. Then we have the option to adjust the color theme. We can create multiple variations of the same. And you also have the option to regenerate, download, export to Jules and even view the code. My personal favorite is this option right here that says annotate to edit. And again, if you closely take a look at the first image right here, as you can see here, we have some issues, right? So this calories option right here is overlapping with this ring interface right here. And we want to fix that. Or let's say you want to make some kind of changes. Well, what I'll do is I'll simply go ahead and annotate it just like this. And now it says describe your change. And now all you have to do is to just explain what kind of change you want to make. So in this case, I'll say I want, I don't want this uh, calories word right here to overlap this ring. And also maybe we'll go ahead and ask the AI to sort of design it in a different way. So I can give a prompt something like this. 
right now the word calories is overlapping the ring and it doesn't look good so can you please switch up and create a different interface for this card right here okay a basic prompt and after that towards the top you will find a button that says apply and now all i have to do is to click on apply and there you go as soon as i click on the send button the message is sent and within seconds stitch will make whatever changes that you asked for and by the time stitch comes up with the new design let me quickly take a second to talk about our sponsors for today's video omniscient if you are into e-commerce marketing then you might already know how important email marketing is in fact for every single dollar you spend with omniscient you get around 68 dollars in return and that's a staggering 6700 percentage roi Omniscent is an e-commerce oriented email marketing platform that allows you to drive more sales with less effort. Whether you are just getting started or running a growing store, Omniscent has got everything that you will need. You get pre-built automations like cart abandonment, welcome series, beautiful email and SMS campaigns and even push notifications from one single dashboard. Omniscent also offers powerful segmentations so you can send highly personalized emails based on what your customers are actually doing on your store. And the best part? It seamlessly integrates with almost all leading platforms like Shopify, WooCommerce, Wix, WordPress and BigCommerce. And to quickly get started, all you have to do is to click the link in the description below and sign up for a new account. Once logged in, you can quickly go ahead and create a new campaign by giving details like the subject line, name, language, etc. And you can even let AI write everything for you. Yes, Omniscient even comes with AI integration too. Next up, select a template that you would like to use and customize it using Omniscient's intuitive editor. And once done, you can make the campaign live in just a single click. And here's my favorite feature, automation workflow. If you move to the automation tab, you'll be able to create workflows for abandoned cart or checkout, order confirmation, order follow-up, product reviews, etc. And not just these, you can even configure Omniscient for sending SMS and push notifications as well. So indeed, it is our all-in-one platform. So definitely make sure to check out Omniscient using the link in the description below. All right, so it says edited screens are ready. And if I scroll down, here we have the updated version. And there you go. This right here is a different layout. In a similar fashion, you could go ahead and select any of these screens and then pull up the annotate tool. And then you can go ahead and annotate any particular part within this design right here and ask the AI to make any sort of changes. And the AI within Stitch will do it for you. And next up, let's just say you want to switch up, the, let's say the color scheme. Well, you can click on this option that says adjust theme and towards the right side, you'll be able to find a bunch of different options that you can use to change the color scheme. For example, if you want to switch between light mode and dark mode, you can change that. You can change the primary color and you can even add a custom color if you want to. For example, let's say, okay, let's try this blue color. You can adjust the corner radius. You can adjust the font and even set a custom uh, color as well. So in this case, I'll keep it as let's say man drop and now I can click on apply theme. So the updation is in progress. Let's wait for it. There you go. The font is updated and also the color scheme is updated as well. Okay. So if you want to change the color scheme in just a single click, you can do that. And next step, for example, I can select this third screen right here and I'll click on this option right here that says generate multiple option. And now as soon as I click on the same, it opens up this side panel. And for the time being, I'll keep it as three creative range. I'll just put YOLO. Why not? Right. And if you have any custom instructions, you can enter them in here and aspects to vary. Okay. I just want to vary the color scheme image, text content, and let's also vary the layout. And now I'll click on generate variants. And within seconds, the AI will go ahead and create three variations of this particular screen right here. And you can go ahead and select and pick the best one. Okay. So let's just wait for it. All right. So here we have the updated three variants of the user profile screen. So this right here is the original screen. Okay. So this right here is the original one and I can scroll down. And this right here is like three variations of the screen that the AI has created. So for the first one, we have like a cyberpunk kind of like a UI design and the second and third are a bit minimal and has light and dark mode. Okay. And in a similar fashion, if you want to create variations for any design that the AI has created, you can just go ahead and click on this particular option and create variations. And now my personal favorite feature of the newest version of Stitch is hidden in this three dots icon right here. And as you can see here, we have a couple of options like regenerate, download, export, to jewels and even view code. So if you click on this view code option, you'll be able to find the code responsible for that particular design. And if you want to copy it, you can simply go ahead and copy the code. And if you want to, you can just open, let's say, uh, any other AI code editors like cursor or lovable and get going. You can use this design in whatever app you're building on other platform. Or if you want to copy and paste this design directly into Figma, you can click on this particular button right here. But since we selected the experimental mode, Figma copy option is not available. So if you want to copy the design to Figma, then you'll have to stick with standard mode, by the way. 
And now, as I mentioned earlier, my personal favorite feature is this option right here that says export to jewels. And now what happens is that when you click on this export to jewels option right here, you will get a couple of options. First of all, we have the jewels option. That is, you can select the repository and directly, let's say, push the uh, project into jewels and open it up in there. Or if you want to, you can also download the project as a zip file. So to showcase this functionality, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and uh, create a new project. This time around, I'll select the web option. I'll put it in experimental mode and I'll go ahead and give a prompt. Create a sleek looking UI for an audio transcription website with some futuristic and modern design elements. Okay, and now I'll click on the send button right here. So basically, I have already connected an audio transcription app to Jules, so it will be easy for me to sort of demonstrate the same. So in which case, let's wait for the AI to come up with the initial version of the design. Alright, so there you go. This right here is the design for the audio transcription app. And now if you want to, let's say, add any custom images, you have options for that. For example, you can click on this particular button that says add image to canvas and I'll select a random image and add the same. And now as soon as you drop that, you'll find that image added to your canvas in here. And if you want to, you can resize it and move it around and do all sort of stuff. And now the thing is that as soon as you select this particular image, the same will get added to the context of AI. And as you can see, the same is selected in here. And if you want to, you can go ahead and give a prompt asking the AI to incorporate this image into whatever design that you already have. Well, the AI will do it for you. So I just wanted to show that. And again, if you want to, you can change the background color where you're working as well, like your workspace. So you have options for that too. And now our goal is to drop this project into jewels well i'll click on this three dots icon right here and click on this option that says export to jewels and now i'll select the jewels option and i'll select the repository and if you're unable to find this option right here well all you have to do is to head over to jewels.google and you click on this option that says try jewels and then you have to click on this particular button and link your github repo and after you select a repo you will find that in here and again if you want to find a detailed video about google jewels i have already posted the same and i'll make sure to link that in the i button and link in description below so i can head back and after you add like a project in here like after you link your github repo you'll be able to find the same in this drop down menu right here and right now i have only one repo added and that is this audio repo right here and i can select the same and here we also have the option to give a description as well and now what i'm going to do is that this is the design of the dashboard that i'm planning to incorporate into our app for the time being can you please go ahead and implement and copy this design into our app such that it appears under the slash dashboard route so this right here is the initial prompt i'll begin with so basically i'm giving instructions to google jewels so what exactly should google jewels do with this image right here right or let's say this design right here and now i'll click on this create task option right here and it says creating so let's wait okay pop up blocked maybe i can enable that in which case if i head over to jewels and if i okay there you go here we already have that session and i can click on the same and now basically what happened is that as soon as i clicked on this jewels option right here and here what happened is that stitch already selected this design and if you click on this option that says view code you can already find the html code in here and now basically jewels and stitch has a connection together and as soon as i give a prompt in here and select a repository and click on create task option stitch will automatically grab the code for this particular page and add in its context and then along with the description and design it will pass the same to jewels and create a new task in here so as you can see this right here is the task that stitch has created for us and we designed the screen or let's say the ui within jules and in just a single click i passed or let's say transferred that into jules and now jules is going to go ahead and implement the same into our project and there you go as you can see jules has went ahead and created a plan so it says set up the dashboard route implement the dashboard layout translate the html design into react components add placeholder functionality complete pre-commit step and submit the changes and again this right here is actually a next.js based project i believe and yeah so the code that stitch passed is actually in html and jules will have to go ahead and convert that into react components by the way in which ways we'll go ahead and wait for some time and wait for jules to write the code and implement the same and then we can go ahead and deploy the project and i'll show you and let's see how much of a good job did jules do to implement this design right here so we can see if it is exactly the same or if it's not so in which ways let's wait for it all right so there you go so jules is done making all the changes so basically in this case it went ahead and created the dashboard page i believe and it is ready for review i'll click on publish pr and it took about nine minutes for jules to complete this particular task right here 
and I believe that's because it actually ran into a few errors and it took some time for the AI to figure it out and it says successfully created pull request and now I'll click on this option right here that says view PR there you go okay so I'll just go ahead and merge the pull request confirm merge okay I can head back to the code and the commit is in progress and I already have this project deployed on Vercel in which case I'll wait for a couple more seconds for the deployment to complete and then we can view a preview for the same all right so there you go the deployment is successful and this right here is our official app and if I head over to the dashboard route all right so this right here is what we have we have an upload file button so none of these are actually functional by the way so this right here is the UI and for context this right here is the UI that stitch has designed and to be honest it is actually pixel perfect so whatever I see in stitch is exactly what I have in here all right so the stitch and jules integration actually works so the idea here is that you can go ahead and create a design in stitch and then import and send it to jules and jules will go ahead and code the same and create a pr you can review it you can merge it and you will already have it live so basically stitch is your designing partner and jules is your coding partner and both of them together can do magics and this is all i wanted to show you in today's video and yeah the newest version of stitch comes with some cool new features allowing you to create multiple variations of design you can go ahead and use the new experimental mode download the code send the design to code in jewels and a lot more and again if you want to check out stitch all you have to do is to head over to stitch.withgoogle.com sign up for a new account and you can get started and by the way also make sure to check out omniscient using the link in the description below and now that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in today's video so i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one